Thank you for tuning in. I am Chef Antoine Trimble, owner operator of Robella's Haney's Munchies and Mads and Matt. Uh, today we'll be fabricating a whole young chick. Let's get to it. First, we're going to start by removing the packaging. <clears throat> Some say that you have to wash your bird. You don't have to wash your bird. If anything is in this bird, it's in the bird. If it was in the packaging, it's in the bird. So washing it is not going to do anything to it besides wash away the good stuff that you're going to get into your body when you cook it. So, on that note, you got your bird. Make them dance a little bit. <laughs> but how I usually start, I'll start by cutting it here at the first and second joint, wing joint. I'll cut right down the middle here, right to the middle. You'll see it where, where it connects. You cut right down the middle. You're going to pull your wing back, wait till it pop. Pull your meat down. Slice off the excess meat, and you have you a nice, clean, Frenched breast. So let's go back a little bit. Here on the chicken, you have two of everything. You have two breasts, two wings, two legs, two thighs, two butt cheeks, which are these nice little muscles here. These are so tasty. As well as wing tips but as you go you want to get your supremes which is the whole breast without the fats but you want to get your chicken all the way fabricated and use your bone and your carcass to make it stop but I'm going to start here by cutting this breast off if you just set your bone your knife right here on this bone It'll either go to the left or right, and you want to just slide down the back end of that. Slide down, slide down, and get a little bit at a time. You don't want to cut too far into it. You want to cut that little piece off, but cut right down that skin as well. That way it's easier to get your chicken out. Your chicken breast, I'm sorry. So, you're just going to keep cutting through, cutting through, cutting through. Until you get that breast all the way off. So, we're going to get to the point where that bone will not be connected to the breast. So, you just want to take your knife and go right between where that bone connects with that. That way you'll get a nice, clean chicken breast. Nice and clean. This is called an airline chicken breast. It's just with bone in. Still have the skin attached. You also have a tenderloin underneath that. Which, that is another thing of the two pair that a chicken has is two chicken tenderloins. So, since we're on this side, we're just going to keep going down the line. So here we got our leg thigh quarter. You're going to you're going you want to take that bone right here. It's going to be connected. You're just going to pop it. You're just going to pop it out. And as you do that, you're going to flip it back over. You see this muscle here? It's a nice little fat piece of meat. You're going to go right under that. And if you go right down, it'll slide right out. So now you have your nice leg thigh quarter. And if you look on the back side, there's this line here. This is where your leg and thigh connect. If you just slide your knife there, it'll slide right through. And now you got one leg, one thigh. So, back to this side. Let's go all the way back again from the beginning. You go to your wing joint. You go right down the middle. 
snap it off. Bring it down a little bit. Sometimes it fight with you, but it's okay. Just use a knife just to give it a little. I'm gonna slide down. Take that meat off. Nice French bone. take that extra skin it's okay to cut the skin just don't cut the flesh you want to keep your, your chicken whole again you want to pop that out slide your knife right down it'll pop right off leg thigh quarter we don't need to chop it up again but if you want to see it again you got your line here just go right down that line another leg another thigh now we're gonna take this last breast off but first before we do that I'm just gonna cut it in half that way you got a nice clean piece to work with you can rip it do it how you want to but this is a nice piece for some stock right here but you have your breast here, so we're going to go on that bone again, go right down that bone, keep your flesh still attached, use the edge of your knife to get all the way down that bone, Feel where that wing connects inside. You're just gonna put your knife right between it again. Slide right down. Now you got your other part of your carcass. Now you got you some nice stockpile. And now you have your other chicken breast. But I'm gonna show you how to do a supreme. A supreme chicken breast is taking all of the excess fat off. So it all depends on what you're cooking. But you want to take off all that excess fat. And you even want to take off this drummy too. Take that right on off. But now you can fry this up. Super Bowl's coming. You got your nice cleaned up chicken breast. And with that as well, you want to take that tenderloin off. The tenderloin just pulls right on off. So, you have your supreme chicken breast. Your airline chicken breast with your skin attached. You have your two legs, your two thighs, your two wings, and one drumette as of right now. <laughs> and one tenderloin as of right now. But we're going to take this one off too so we can just show you the two tenderloins. Two tenderloins together. So... Your dark meat is more used for stews and, and anything that you want a lot of moisture into. Your chicken breast is for the more clean plates, especially your supreme. This is like the most favorite you'll see in most restaurants. This one is more for the, okay, let's show out a little bit, the airline chicken breast. That's when you crisp up that skin real nice, get a nice golden brown on there. Set it up real nice on the plate. Say you got some mashed potatoes or say you got some rice. You want to set it real nice on the plate. It's going to sit up real nice. With that nice French bone showing up. Um, and you know everybody know what these are for. <laughs> People do fun things with these as well. But um, these is more for just frying and eating them up. But other than that. Here's your chicken. Here's your stock pile. You can make chicken stock you can make soup this still has meat on it as well so if you want to render it down a whole lot and just rip off the meat make some kind of uh taco or something with it that's good as good too um but yeah thank you for tuning in and i hope you learned a little